All right. Um, wait, someone said this. Girl, you don't got everybody. Uh, Tam Renee said, you are calm. His name would have been where a truck lady is. $30,000 ain't no joke. I am because it took a, for the last couple of days, I, when I talk about it, I get emotional. So it's like, it's nothing really I can really do about it, but proceed legally. I have a lot to lose. Now I could have went the other route. I could have. Don't say anything that down. you want to be held accountable for. I could have did something that was crazy, but I have a lot to lose and I have a child. Yeah, so don't don't even allude to that. Um, some people think you paid for the trip. They said you paid for everything because he got 30K from you. I mean, he sure did. He sure did. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What's up, guys? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. Guys, y'all got to check this one out. Ladies, answer me this. Why do you all fall so quickly for a man? I mean, the only thing he has to say is, I have money. And y'all throw everything out the way and chase after this man to the end. And then you find out, oh, he doesn't have any money. Now I done spent all my money. Let me jump on the, on the, on the social media and, and, and I'm going to call him out and, every, and warn all the other ladies not to mess with this bad man. Ooh. So that's all we get now. But y'all got to check this lady's story out. And she talk about a man she met and got engaged within two months. And he finagled her out over $30,000. Tell me how the hell that happened. Someone explain that to me. Or you can just watch this woman. Maybe she explain. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. Definitely hit that notification. Make sure you like video. Make sure you comment on the video. Y'all understand? I need y'all to comment on this. I need to know what y'all thinking. Because this is ridiculous. Check it out. For you. Okay, you was on my show before? Yes, and this is... It's so horrible. What happened? It's a man praying on women from your show. He's, he's a man from my, was he on my no, show? He's he's contacting women who comes on your show. Okay. And he's praying on them. And I just so happened to be one of his victims. So tell me what he did. Okay. He lied about from the time I talked to him to the time I found out the truth, he lied. Like he lied about everything. The story's so long, I've been emailing you trying to tell you the story. I got the police involved. Wait, so start from the top. Start from the top. Okay. So I'm first, so when nice did you come on my show? Um, April. Of this year? I have, yes, I will have to go back and see. Okay, so, so April of this, so this happened within the last three months or so. Yes. This, the situation just like evolved. Like I just found out he was lying about everything recent. Like this is so, it's, it's wait, very Wait, 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 what's your name again, honey? Truck Lady C. Okay, but we, let's just start from the top so we can make sure we follow along the story. So you okay. come on the show and then he, did he DM you? He sent me a DM. At first I wasn't, okay, so I wasn't a highlight, but I still got people sending me messages. So one day I was working and I responded to his messages. And then I gave him a phone number or whatever, but it wasn't my phone number. It was an app number. So we started talking. We was talking every day. Now, based off the information that he gave me, you know, I'm like, okay, this man seems like he's a nice individual. And we met up in Miami based off of the things he was telling me or whatever. But it comes to find out everything this man told me. So well, what did he tell you, truck? He told me he, oh, He's a lawyer for young thugs. He's a lawyer at all. He told me he had five siblings. 
he told me that um he had like Airbnb businesses, he had a restaurant, he told me anything that you could think of, this man told me. Okay, so what did y'all hear out of all that? You hear that the man had status, possibly some money. I say he was a lawyer, had Airbnbs, uh, some other little things. But see, this is this, this the part I don't understand. If someone said, I'm a lawyer for a high-profile case that's going on right now, wouldn't you go and look it up? Because it'll tell you who the lawyer's defending or, or basically supporting the guy. They'll tell you all that. You didn't bother to go look to see if this man is actually a lawyer for Young Thug? See, this story don't make sense to me, man. It just don't. But y'all keep listening, man. Just keep listening. And you believed it all? No, I believe, like, okay, sort of down the line, I started getting skeptical. Because anytime I would say somebody's name, he like, oh, I know them. I'm like, in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, like, why is, is it every time you say, I say somebody's name, you know them? And you throwing out big names. So it's like, I know people, but I'm not going to tell you who they are. I know because it's irrelevant. Why are you telling me this? So he started throwing out names. Now, he, okay, before he, I started speculating that he was lying. He gave me a ring. What kind of ring? Engagement ring. He proposed to you? Yes. And you said yes? Yeah. Why did you say yes? And you haven't known this man more than three months? No, because the way that I've always imagined it, it's like, okay, I'm like, I want to be married. I want to have kids and I don't really have a time frame on it. So it's like, I don't have a problem. Well, wait a minute. With... You just told me that you didn't no, believe. This was, no, this was after this, all this. Well, oh, okay. All when, this was, okay when did he propose? Cause you came on the show in April. Now we're in June. So when did he uh, propose? I would say like three, two, two, I would say like two, three weeks ago. So three weeks ago, he got on one knee and asked you to be his wife? Yeah. You got to be stupid to think a man going to propose. You said three weeks ago. Y'all only been together for two months. So wasn't even a good month and a half. This man proposed to you and you said yes see he knew what he had he knew you was a sucker he knew you was a sucker you just run behind because you thought he had something there's no way you talk about you so smart there's no way on this earth you sat there and thought this was a good catch you can't tell me that. You thought this man had money, and that's why you hooked up with him. You forgot about everything else, because there's no way in the world in a month and a half, not two months, you know a person. Especially not enough to accept a ring. So, and how many times had you seen him in person before three weeks ago? But four, I, okay, like four times, and I was at his house for two weeks consecutive. Like, okay, so at this moment, y'all got into a committed relationship. Yes. And where did, where did he live? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. So you stayed at his house for two weeks in Pennsylvania. Yes. My son, how I found out he lied about everything is my son called me and he was like, I want to come home. He was with his father. So I catch a flight to go pick up my son. But when I pick up my son, my son is sick. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to stay home. I live in Michigan. I'm like, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to nurse my son back, you know, healthy. But as soon as I pick up my son, he's like, hey, mom, I want to go to my grandma house, uh, to my grandma house. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to let you go once you get better. But I tell him, I'm like, hey, I'm going to make sure my son is good before I come back out there. Now, the plan was for me to get my son and go back out there. I met his daughter. He met my son. I met his sister. At, at this moment, are you guys engaged? This is three weeks ago. Right now, no. I is yeah, yeah. Okay, so when this happened, you wasn't engaged yet. Yes, we was. When this happened, we was. Okay, so this is within the last three weeks. So when did this no, happen? This this happened in the last week. Last what, week. Okay. At me okay, finding so you're this engaged. Out. You go home to take care of your son. Okay. So I go, I go there, take care of my son or whatever. So this Thursday, I left 
Wednesday, Thursday. I'm at home Thursday. And ever since I get home, it's like, well, when I get home and I tell him that, he, it's like he was trying to get me back up. But I'm like, no, I got to take care of my son. I got to make sure my son is good. Then, you know, whatever. But ever since Thursday, okay, I'm at home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every day I'm home, we getting into it. And I don't understand why. And some of the things are coming to light, like this man stole money from me. How do you, this, how do you, how do you get access to steal money from you? When we went to, we had went to Miami. Okay. This was like the, we went to Miami and he had my credit. I didn't know he had. How did like, you get your credit my, card? I just left like my stuff in my purse, like around. I had several purses. So I just leave my purse there and just take another purse. And like, you know, while we around Miami. So, okay, this was the first time you met him? No. Uh okay, so she's already trying to skip over. See, she was about to say, I left him my credit card. Because she's jumping around in this story. But she's about to say, I left, he had my credit card. Then she stopped herself. And then she tried to say, blah, blah, blah. I leave my purses around and, you know, I just grab a purse and I just go and blah, blah, blah. Nothing about this story has been on point already you know what i'm saying nothing y'all blended the family you got engaged y'all on trips together and y'all hadn't even been together two months at this time yeah some ain't right about this she don't want to tell the whole story but i think she more or less just want to come on here and call him out because she hurt but let's keep listening man okay or whatever. So you're so, saying, so in the last week, you learned that when y'all were in Miami, he sold your credit card? He sold my credit card. He ran my credit card up. I found out he was lying. I found out he, that he didn't have all the siblings that he he said he had. I found out he didn't go to law school. I found out that he's actually an accountant and he's using his, his client's accounts to try to fund his lifestyle. Uh, it's, it's a lie. It's, Truck lady, real quick. When did you find out? I want to talk about the credit card situation. How did you find out he stole your credit card? Because I asked him about it and I'm like, you know, why, you know, what's going on? He like, well, I'm gonna pay you back or whatever. I'm like, well, wait, wait, you, on, you didn't on. have- You're skipping it all. I need clear details. Okay. Did you see, so, a, did you, hold on, did you see a charge? Yes, I seen charges. Okay, so when did you see the charge that you didn't expect? I seen charges, like, I wanna say a week ago. So, week, so the charges happened a week ago. No, I seen the charges. Like I got like six, I got six cards and I don't always so when did, check Okay, so when did he make those so, charges? He made those charges when we was in Miami. And when was and you in Miami? We was in Miami. Hold on, let me check my phone. We was in Miami. Why are you checking your phone? You got to remember what you did with less than two months ago. That why I say something ain't right about all this. She trying to put it off on him. But I'm thinking you was paying for all this stuff. And he was just there for the ride. But how can you get all these charges on your card and your card doesn't? Everybody have a credit card? No. If you go somewhere you haven't been in a while or a large charge just happened to happen on your credit card, they'll, they'll pause that card. And they're going to contact you, shoot you a text and an email and ask if it's you making this purchase. And you click yes or no. But that card is frozen until you reply. So that's why I say, it. how did he get keep running up these charges? Because the credit card would have stopped. It would have cut it off. The... Uh, I want to say the 17th of May... I'm not exactly sure. I have to go go back on them. So the 17th of May. So that's like a month after you being on my show. Yeah. So we went to we went to Miami or whatever. And why, why is this like this? Okay. So after and at this time you hadn't known him that long. How many times have y'all met in person? If you were on my show in April and my May 17th, you were together. We met once. Once. I want to say once. So you met after once. That, yeah, because we also was in, he also came to Dallas. And yeah, then we was in Pennsylvania. We were supposed to take another trip. 
But I found all this information out. But wait, you're supposed to take another, another trip when? We were supposed to take another trip last week. Okay, before we get there, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to present time. I'm just trying to find your follow your timeline. So you okay. come on my show. Someone told me April 12th you were on my show. Then okay. so, And then a month later, like May 17th, so y'all must have started talking fast. Yeah, we did. Like when I say when he met, after I messaged him, we was talking every single day. Like because okay. I really I don't be I, I don't at the time I came on your show I wasn't I was talking to one person, but it wasn't nothing serious. So once I started talking to him and we started talking about you know what you want and what you're looking for and because I made it known like I want to be married, I want something serious, and we made it known like you know what I was looking for. It was like we were just talking every day. We got down to what you want, what you know. What's your beliefs? What's your background? You know, cover all, all that. So based okay. off what he was saying, I'm like, okay, well, you know, you seem like a nice person. We said to me, to me or whatever. But after the trip, it's no, not after the trip. After I came home for my son, that's when starts things start coming to light. Like things start coming to light. Like you know, he was lying about everything. I got in contact. I met his sister when I was in Pennsylvania, but I, we didn't have a conversation about him. I met his daughter and after I left, things weren't sitting right in my spirit and some like tell me like, you know, he kept trying to switch things around. Anytime I asked him a question, he was turning around on me and I'm like, I know nothing ain't wrong with me. So I'm like, okay, I started doing some digging. I started do going on Google. I did a, a background check. Exactly. This is a lot of BS. Let's just be real. You now starting to figure things out. Now, that's why I cut it off before she started getting into all this investigative work she's doing, trying to make herself seem like she's so smart now. You're a grown-ass woman taking all these trips, just met this dude, get engaged, then brought your kids around him, Y'all trying to blend the family, trip after trip after trip. So we know what's happening on that. Just a lot of effing going on. That's all going on on that bad boy. And now, oh, I'm starting to, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get smart now. I, I, hey, hey. Man, come on. Y'all ladies be killing me with that instinct. Trying to find people. I was able to find his ex-wife and his sister. I met his sister, so I reached out to, I was able to find her information on, um, what's that app called with the job listings? Uh, whatever website it was. I was able to find her information and I sent her a message like, hey, this is me, give me a call. Now, I did that, this was Tuesday. I was on my way back from Pennsylvania to get my stuff from his house. And I was at the airport, I sent her that message. As my, as my flight landing, I get a text like, hey, this is me, or whatever. I say, hey, I'm, I'm landing. I'm going to give you a call in five minutes. I talk to her, and I'm like, hey, um, you know, is something mystically wrong with your brother? And she say, no, what do you mean? I say, um, he tell me that, you know, he was raised in a two-parent household. Um, he got five siblings. He did, he, he, everything he told me was a lie. I reached out to his ex-wife. She said, oh, no, he, he's an accountant. Uh, he told me he divorced five years ago. He divorced two years ago. She told me that um, he proposed to somebody while they were still married. And it's, 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 a lot, it's, it's a lot more and it's a lot more detail. But I know that I was on your app and I was talking to my friends about this or whatever because it was a whole episode, like, if I really sit down and tell you the whole story, like, it's really emotional. It should just be embarrassing. I wouldn't come. I know everybody won't clout, but sometimes this clout make you look so stupid. I would not come on here and talk about how I got finessed out of everything from this dude. Now, everybody going to know, want to know who is this guy that he going to come back and rebuttal and make you look stupid. But you going through all this and calling his ex-wife. His ex-wife? So you expect the ex-wife to say something nice about him? Like, 
Y'all ladies, man, y'all, you don't look like a young lady. Let's be real. So why are you jumping and doing all this with this guy so quick? Now you chasing him down and calling ex-wives and all this stuff. This shit is so stupid. I think she lying. I really do. I think she trying to do one of the most storylines like that other girl on TikTok. It's emotional for me. Well, let me jump because in. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. Well, first things first. I, I, I wish there's a disclaimer I have at the top of the show which says I'm not reliable or liable for anybody you meet. And it's because of things like this. I wish I could say everybody watching the show has good intentions, uh, but I can't. I cannot confirm yeah. the person that reaches out to you. I'm not taking away him lying to you. But I'm going to tell you some things you could have did better to not be a victim for his life. Yeah. First, they're telling me you were on the show April 12th. Today is June 17th. So that's a little over, like, we're around the two-month mark. And mm -hmm. you got engaged to a man that you didn't even know for two months. Yeah, now look. Although I told him yes, I was skeptical until I'm like, okay, I said yes. Well, no, yes. but how about just don't but, even be skeptical. Just be, no, I don't know you. Like, I, I, I'm saying, lies. Yeah, how about this? Y'all should expect everybody to be lying. How about that? When you meet someone, it's almost and, like you get a benefit of the doubt. You don't really get to know somebody more with time, right? Yeah. So I'm not taking away his guilt or, or I'm not, not taking away from him lying to you. But I want to make sure that you don't fall for this again. And I think you moved way too fast without with a man you have known less than two months. Like y'all did a lot in two months. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like usually, I I can't say I I know I move fast because usually, like I don't give people a chance, and I'm very skeptical. Was he real attractive? It must have been something this. about him that you really liked. Was it because like, he said I was, he was usually, just talking to manager? No, I, he was the total opposite of what I would go for, Kendra. I was trying, like, usually I have a type. Is I'm very picky. But since I, I'm like, okay, well, what I've been doing lately has not been working. So I was going to try something different. I'm like, I'm going to keep an open mind. And I'm going to go for something. I, I you went for money. Let's be real. He, he flashed that money. He flashed the look. He made it seem like he had a lot going on. And you jump right on it. That's why y'all was just on those trips. And I bet each and every one of you was on Instagram talking about all y'all trips. He flew me out and all this other stuff. Oh, girl, we're enjoying life. Because there's no way after meeting somebody within two months, y'all going on all these doggone trips. No way. So this is, this is a damn soup salad, as we call in the military. This is a mess. You're too old for this. Don't say it to me, I'm picky. How can you be picky and you pick someone like this? And then you accepted a ring from this dude. <sighs> Man, y'all corny as shit. Usually don't go, folks. And then I'm like, okay, usually I always got my guards up. I'm always, like, I'm, I'm on it. My friends, they tell you, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. But I did the total opposite. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try something different and see if it works. I wasn't opposed to like trying something different and things moving too fast. Cause you know the show Love is Blind, right? Well, have yeah. you heard of that? So I'm like, okay, cause I even was, I was really, I was supposed to go on that show. But I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm just give things a chance. I'm gonna give somebody a chance and I'm gonna go for their heart and not how they look and everything else. Because usually this type of man, I I wouldn't go for. Well, okay, so how did things end? Well, right now, um, okay. Oh, wait, one more thing. You said he's preying on women on my show, so he's reached out to oh. other women? Yes, I found out from his ex-wife that he's, he did this before somebody contacted her. I was on your app, and I was like, I was telling my friends, I'm like, I'm not going to let this event hinder me from finding what I want. What's for me is for me. God going to deal with him and I'm going to move forward because what he tried to do was break me and what he will not do is break me. All right, let's go and give the strong black woman talk. He won't, mm, mm, not me. Mm, mm, he will never break me. Mm, mm. He just took all my shit and made me look like a fool.
You can forget all that. You got played. Move on. So okay, I'm like, I'm, said, a, I'm a key but what is the proof that he? Oh, at, he's on your app. He's still on your app. He got a different age, occupation, and everything. I have text messages. I got video recordings. I got um, emails of everything from his sister. When I was talking to him, when I was uh, texting him, I got videos of everything because this ended very ugly. I got the police involved and everything. So the police are involved because of the credit card charges? Yes, that and he also took money from my friend saying that he was a lawyer to to do something for her. What but he's not a gave him money? What no, but he, she, okay, so file some paperwork. So, but wait, uh, okay, I got a question. You became an investigator in the last seven days, found his sister and his ex-wife. Why didn't you start off there? Like you had your soul, so you told your friend this guy you're dating is a lawyer and she hired him? No, this was afterwards. She started asking him questions or whatever about certain things, and he was able to, uh, well, he was, I guess, I don't know exactly their whole conversation, but she asked him questions or whatever. He was like, Yeah, I'm gonna get more information. If I don't, I'm gonna get somebody else to help me. So she reached out to him because, yeah, she reached out to him and they had a conversation. She sent her money, but he sent her the money back. Because he was like, I'm not able to help you with what so, she Okay, so he didn't get her money. Doing. No. Okay. So how much money did he charge to your credit card? Do you, oh, do you not want to share? Over thirty thousand dollars. How how in the eight? You getting up here talking all this stuff, all this strong black woman talk, and this dude finesse you out over $30,000 in less than two months. And then you try to make a story that he took your friend's money because y'all told him he's a lawyer. Then you turn around and say, oh, he gave her her money back. Your story don't add up, lady. And how you get finessed out of $30,000? within two months and you going on trips with this man y'all stop getting on these shows man just stop just stop because y'all y'all making black women look so freaking bad so bad i don't know the story true or not but it making y'all look so bad man that y'all ain't got no freaking senses y'all just all about the money and the penis that's it And he made these charges in May, and you just noticed it the no, last seven days? No, he, he made, um, they, I, I would have to go back on there, um, uh, it's my Amex card, so I would have to go back on there and see all the dates, because I'm actually in the process of going through, through them or whatever, and sending them to a detective. Because I have, self, self, yeah, it's, it's more, it's, it's way more to it, and I'm trying to summarize it. But I, I seen him. What made me do it was because his sister was like, whatever you do, continue to press charges. You need to get on there. Tell Kendra what's going on. I'm like, I really don't want to. But I'm like, well, I know. Unfortunately, something... you make a lot of allegations, and I, I can't allow you to say his name, no. name because yeah. of all the allegations that you're you're making. But yes. I have to say this. This is what I have to say. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you went through that. And I pray you get your money back. And I'm not negating the wrong that he did. I just want to make all ladies watching a way to be wiser. Okay. Yeah. And I know he's still that on your love, here's the deal. I know everybody wants love. Don't no, don't fall in love. Okay. Be smart in love. Okay. Cause when you fall in love, you're in a fairy tale land and I need y'all to be in the world, the real world as you are being in love. And you know, it literally has only been two months and this man had way too much. I can't even see your face. This this man had way too much access to your life within two months. Like you have got to spend, y'all got to spend more time getting to know these human beings that y'all are meeting because pretty much everybody going to gonna lie to some certain degree when you first meet them. But time gives all truth. 
So I want this to be a lesson for all people. Don't be so gullible and being so open to have strangers in your intimate space so fast. Yeah. I mean, it right? definitely is a, is a lesson learned. Like, and I'm like, you know, I still have my life, so I'm grateful for that. It's just, I, it's, I learned a lot from this. Things that I usually wouldn't do, I did. Well, go back and, to the things that you usually wouldn't do and don't, and, and follow the usually wouldn't do. And because, that's what I said. Like, the usually, I don't even listen. I know y'all always talking about fluid out, fly out, all that stuff. I believe when you dating, you stay in a different hotel. Y'all don't need to be in the same hotel room. I don't really know you still. Like, if, if it's fine if you live in, we can't really see your face. If you live in different cities and I know, well, he got to fly me out. Okay, if that's what you live by, that's what you live by. But he also got to get you a hotel too if you're going to fly by that because you don't know these people. Y'all don't know these people, okay? Now, I don't know why you accept a proposal for a man that you know less than two months. That just, it's, to, to me, that makes me seem like you just want to be in love and in a relationship so bad so you wasn't, like, all the logical signs you probably were missing. Now, that's just, I can't blame you entirely. I have to give you some blame because you participated. He shouldn't have did it. Here's the deal. I, I want to stand on that. What he did was wrong, and he shouldn't have did it. But he couldn't get over on a woman like me because there have been too many things that we couldn't even got to. We couldn't got to 30 days. And if I was to meet up with him, we ain't in the same hotel that fast. Yeah. You know? You got a lot of paid questions. You know they got a lot of things to say to you. You got a lot of paid questions. Let me go to some of the paid questions. Um Okay, D Green said, what's your contact info? Can you tell me his name? I met someone in the comments who sounds like the same man, but I cut it off quick, never even met. So she wants, you want to give out your contact info? Yeah, um, because I said I was going to do a storyline and go deep into it. So um, do you want to give out your contact info? To her? Yeah, my, my, my Instagram is truck lady t truck lady t on instagram if you guys want to dm her so d green is truck lady t on instagram jihande said baby girl you have to grow and be more accountable do your homework before you encounter someone and holler at theo cooper Hello. i don't know who that is coffee killer said this is not as severe as you're making it out to be not some of us here in two weeks. Only thing I will say is this: she lost thirty k. Now thirty k is severe. It was what? Well, it was more than that, but that's you know. Thirty k is can't severe. Say, I can't say that. You know, I did play my part in it or whatever, and yes, I accepted it. But my thing was like, okay, I get to know you along the way or whatever the case may be, and if any red signs or any, my thing is, if any red flags or anything was to appear. I'm going to check it. And as soon as they start and I started to see them, I'm like, okay, well, this not adding up. This not making sense. And I bring it to the table. It's just that when I bring it to the table, everything had already, when, when I started to become aware, it's just so like I'm everything the, just. This is the thing that kills me with a lot of you ladies. As soon as the relationship go bad, then you start talking about, oh, the red flags. With, the red flag was there the first week probably when this man was doing too much and you allowed it and you was looking standing tall all in it the red flags was there now you said you met his sister and his family and this and y'all didn't have any conversations you didn't look up his job you said he was a lawyer for young thug that was the number one red flag right there so like Kendra said, you're so bent on wanting to be in a relationship and you thought he had money, you thought you had a ringer. Let's be real. And you got played. How you get played over $30,000? That's stupid. Now you're sitting here talking about I got an investigator. You got to pull out with your, you should be on press charges. You don't need an investigator. You got to press charges. Say he stole your credit card and used it. File against your credit card so you can get your money back because they insured it. And his ass go to jail. Simple as that. You need to know what the investigator gonna do. What's the investigator gonna do? Going, oh, did you you know he did it? 
So the thing is, where did he purchase? What did he purchase? That's what I want to know. What did he purchase to run that card up over 30000 That's it. Because if he went to stores and bought high-end belts, shoes, pants, or whatever, that's a trail. So I don't know what you're talking about with all this stuff. You just... You were just dumb. You just dumb, moving dumb. You And all this red flag stuff, maybe they need to change the color of the flags. Maybe y'all need a green. Nah, let's, say, let's say green. Let's do something else. Let's do a something that's bright and orange. Let's just do an orange flag. Y'all need an orange flag so y'all can catch the damn hint sometimes. Because that red flag is not working. So let's throw some orange flags out there for y'all. Maybe y'all to catch that. No, they not on there. Okay, they're not on there. All right. Um, Andre Fawn said, I think we just got slower listening to this madness. Um, LII said, you did, you don't app, you don't all this, or you done all this talking, and sorry you went through that, but tell us and stop playing respectfully. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Um, Kings of Queens says, she thought he had money. That's why she moved fast. Did you think he had what? money? Um, not necessarily. I have money. I drive trucks. So it's not all about the money. I like the way he, the things that he told me, uh, allegedly, you know, from his background. So it, it's not all about the money because I have money. If I didn't but have did the money, you think he, he had money. I mean, I know you had money, but did you, were you excited that you felt that this guy had money? He's on your level. Did you think yeah. he had money? Man, yeah, I thought he had some money, of course. But it wasn't just for the money. Understand. Okay. Corvette said, I want to know where the ring is. We just saw the ring. We just saw the ring. Igbo said, it's not Kendra's fault. You're thirsty and slow, man. Well, um, I've never said it was Kendra's fault. Right. I just came out here to tell my story. Thirsty. I can get anybody I want. Okay. She get anybody she wants. Oh, Coffee Killer had another question earlier. If you go for something different and still didn't work, the common denominator is you, ma'am. No, it's not. You, do, you it's... definitely gotta be smarter. Like I, what, yeah. I, what I will say is you gotta take, you gotta, maybe discernment is not a gift everybody has, but you gotta, you have to um, get better discernment. Stop being so trust, trusting to strangers. And I'm not using, I'm using my. People. Like at the end of the day, two months, you don't still even know this man, to be quite honest. It's two months yeah. to this day. So you, you move really, really fast. Um, the Tate Gaming said, all that head and she's, okay, we're going to keep on. This is Risa Tessa, part 51 to 75. They're calling you the girl from TikTok. And it's, if I go in detail, it really is. Well, y'all need to stop. That's not a compliment. When I saw it's not. Her, when I listen, when I saw her story, I it was traumatic. The, the first thing that the, if we wouldn't got to, we would have finished episode one because there was a red flag in episode one. Um, D Green said definitely did a lot in two months. I guess what they say about male truck drivers goes for female truck drivers. Um, that's the one that wants to know his name. Um, no, that's not true because before I was messing with him, all I did was work take care of my child, work, take care of my child. Okay. Chance the Chief said, Kendra's, Kendra's patient as hell. She would have got a hundred dams. That's crazy from me. <laughs> All right. So now, right now, where you're at is you're doing an investigation with the police. Yes. But I did see him on your on your app. So that's why his sister's like, you need to reach out to Kendra. Let well, her know. Well, here's the deal. I mean, I, I'm, let's just talk about this. And all dating apps, not just my app. People do, they lie about age. I had a woman up here on my show who literally did an interview with me. And then I went to the app. She had a different age and a different name. So even on the app and all apps, still proceed with caution. I know yeah. there's good, I, I know there's a lot of people out there, y'all good hearted, angel walking people. You have to always proceed with caution, always listen. You have to have your guard up. And you always have to get to know a person first, especially do not have your credit cards around people. Now, I pray you can get your $30,000 back. I really do. I pray you get your money back. That's terrible. And I think just the, um, 
May he get what he gets. I mean, I feel like that. Isn't that like a jail? That could be a jail offense, correct? Yes, because he, you know, he was writing bad checks and everything. So he wrote, wait, he wrote, he charged $30,000 and he wrote checks in your name? He tried to pay the balance off. That's how I found out, like, he, okay, once I talked to his ex-wife and she told me he was an accountant, some of the things that he was doing, it started to, like, click. I'm like, okay, so once I seen it, I seen that he tried to go and um, he tried to give me a check to pay his balance, but the checks bounced. I'm like, you know, he was like, well, I'm going to pay it, I'm going to pay it, but I'm like, you know, his ex-wife said his accountant, so he got access to other people's accounts that he trying to pay my card off with. Mm. 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 Ooh, That's enough of this mess here, man. This woman, she... <sighs> Ladies, y'all y'all need to... I don't know. I, I don't know. It don't make sense. And within two months, I had to write some of this stuff down. Y'all went on several trips, Airbnbs, y'all renting Airbnbs, Renting a yacht, flying down to Miami, getting an engagement ring, buying gifts, and then he still was managed to still have managed to take over thirty thousand on you from a credit card. And you say he tried to write a check back to pay you back for the car. See, something ain't adding up. He was trying to pay you back and all this other stuff. You gave you let this man use your card. You probably did it when you flew home for your son, when you said he got sick and he was still down there mad at you that you didn't come back and he probably ran up your card then. But all this other, because why would he want to pay you back? So he know he put charges on there. But either way, y'all like these scammer dudes because they have free access to everything. They can pick up and go and do whatever. That's what y'all say y'all want. Y'all don't want a nine to five, dude. Y'all want to do that and just go when you want to go. And you never ask within all that traveling and having fun, how the case going? What's going on? Why are you not in court? You never ask that? Like, stupid. But God, that's all I got on this, man. I guess it's just so dumb that <sighs> we just got to deal with it. We just got to deal with it. So, I mean... Effort. Well, guys, y'all make sure if y'all like it, y'all let me know. Do y'all think she lying? Because I think she lying. I think she's trying to be like that girl on TikTok and get her story lying out. Because everybody, every woman trying to do that now. But I think that's what she's trying to do. And get a whole story out and everybody going to keep talking. But that shit was so boring and dumb because it was so dumb. It ain't going to go nowhere. Because all people can keep saying is, you're dumb. You're just stupid. She'll get tired of it sooner or later. That's what I think. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think. Put it in the comments. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Support the channel. Hit me with a super thanks. So that's another way to support the channel. Uh, you can donate a little something, something for a protein shake. I drink coffee, but I, I prefer a protein shake because I'm in that gym. And you need to be in that gym. So with all that being said, guys, it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. All right, all right, all right, all right.